Hello everyone. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk about our four main products that I will color match you with and a little bit about our products and how they work. So I just wanted to do a quick hack for you or a quick highlight and contour. Um, when you get color matched, you're going to get matched to a highlight, a main highlight, um, which is your main all over color and a brightening color, which I'll show you um, how that works as well. And a contour color to bring some dimension to our faces. You know, our faces already have dimension to them. We're just going to accentuate that. We're gonna use a brightener to brighten our eyes and darker spots and things like that that we would like to cover up. And then of course a cheek color. And I might talk a little bit about our um, glow illuminator, which I absolutely love, our Bella bronzer over the moon about that and um our cayman powder so any purchase of four tins earns you a free quad compact of your choice so this is the quad compact and it will hold four um large tins or two large tins and four eyeshadows you can do any combination if you love all these colors like I do, especially the cheek colors and the bronzers and things like that, um, and you buy eight tins, you get our hack compact, which is a double stack compact. It also has the mirror in it. And then you've got the layer on top for four large compacts and the layer on bottom for your cheek and your eye color. So absolutely free, four tins, eight tins. It's a great uh, deal that mascara offers our customers. So just to show you the, the main colors that go on your face or the main creams rather that go on your face, I am going to uh, start with my main highlight. Your colors are gonna be different than my colors. So I'm not gonna necessarily tell you what my colors are. I'm just gonna use the word main highlight, brightening highlight, contour color. And I'll probably tell you what my cheek color is once I get to that point and decide which one I'm going to use. Um, this is the 30 second hack brush. It's pointed at one end and kind of rounded on the other. And I am going to dip this end of it into my, my main color. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. One of the things, many things um, that I love about this makeup is how smooth it goes on, how it covers redness and blemishes and uneven skin tones and it just blends in so well. It doesn't leave the lines that you would find with a liquid makeup. It obviously doesn't leave powder all over your shirt and counter um, like the powders do that you would put over your liquid makeup. It doesn't sit on top of the hairs on your face like powders do. It actually just blends right into your face. Um, I do highly recommend the mascara brushes for the application of our creams. Uh, if you hear some banging in the background, it's just my fat cat trying to get in here with me right now. Everybody thinks that I'm completely joking when I tell them that I have a cat that Seems like he's gonna be busting the door down any second, but y'all hear it, so. Anywho, um, but anyway, yeah, so it doesn't sit on top of your face. It actually gets into your face. It fills your lines, it fills your creases, it covers your discolorations and your age spots and your blemishes and all of that. And it adds a nice, healthy glow to your face, so. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's super simple to apply. You can put on thick layers or thin layers depending upon how much coverage you need. If you've got uh, birthmarks or a lot of discoloration from like rosacea or eczema or something like that, um, we can use a little bit darker color than your main color on top of that and it you can't even tell it's there. There are some pictures in my group um, you might have to scroll a little bit if you want me to send them to you just shoot me a message and I'd be happy to send them to you and color match you to what darker color you might need to cover those spots and then your main highlight color or your main yeah your main highlight color so I'm gonna take my 30 second hack I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna go into the lightest color in my palette excuse me um, and I am going to put that on my chin 
on my nose. And into my forehead. And as I said a little bit ago, this just adds a brightness to the center of your face and um, attracts the light and uh, brightens your eyes. And it's just absolutely fantastic. I am actually going to grab my detail hack brush and apply my contour color. Um, I've been going back and forth between my contour color, which I think is Oliver Walnut, and using the Bella Bronzer as a uh, contour. The Bella Bronzer, it works the same way for contouring, but it brings this sun-kissed glow to your, to your face. So I think for tonight's intents and purposes for your video here, I'm just gonna do the Bella Bronzer. So I just go along my forehead here from temple to temple. Go up into the hairline. You don't wanna, it doesn't, this makeup doesn't really leave any lines, but you don't wanna have like a white spot right here. And you know, that'd be kind of weird. And I am going to come down the edges of my nose. And this just brings the light to the center of my nose instead of the width of my nose. Um, it's genetic that we have a little bit wider noses in my family and so this is a good way to kind of hide that a little bit. Beautiful. And then you want to contour from the corner, outside corner of your eye to the top of your ear that angle okay and you can go just a little bit below your cheekbone and into the hollow of your cheek <clears throat> excuse me and this just adds shadows and then of course once we get done you'll see that the other colors will bring light so some people say oh my goodness this is too hard and I'm gonna tell you I used to be one of those people I didn't know anything about makeup <clears throat> I would just put on some foundation that never matched and never blended in and toss some powder on top of that and call it a day and I never realized how bad I truly looked until I got to looking at some pictures and I was like oh my something's got to change so um thank you mascara it's a godsend so this I'm just taking right along underneath my jawline and this just adds a definitive look to the end of my face and takes away from my chins and just gives me that definitive definitive chiseled look to my face okay i'm actually going to go back to my um 30 second hack brush <clears throat> and i need to apply my brightener underneath my eyes one of the most important places to put it so just underneath your eyes all the way kind of a triangle underneath here, okay? Let's just, like I said, it adds brightness and brings brightness out of your, you know, into your eyes. So um, I had tried many, 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 I'm not gonna name any because that would be kind of rude, but let's just say 15 of the top brands of makeup in the course of my years in, in Earth, on Earth. And it would either settle into my lines, it would cause me to break out, it would not control my oiliness, I would be flaky in the places where it would set in. Uh, I always had lines across here and I um, always had powder sitting on top of my peach fuzz on my face and I didn't really realize that there was anything better. So my sister-in-law had invited me to her online mascara party because primarily everything that we do is online and to be completely truthful with you, I ignored the party for several days. I work on an ambulance and we were actually posted, uh, not running a call for a period of time, which is unusual. And I got super bored and one of the posts popped up and I was like, oh, all right, I'll look at it. And it was actually the post with the caboodle um, all the makeup that goes in you know this this case basically and how it can be taken down into a compact and i'm like i could use that i have so much junk 
you know, makeup and whatever all over the place. I've got, at the time, I had two or three of those caboodles, a whole drawer in a bathroom, and the, we have a cabinet above the mirror in there, and that was full too of different brands, different kinds, different colors, and it was just taking up a lot of space. And I'm like, well, heck, you know, that's pretty amazing. So just to interrupt myself here, this is our Perfector sponge. Not all Perfector sponges are created equally. Um, ours are bigger, they're not as porous, they don't get crumbly. But the one thing I will tell you that's super important is to make sure this is damp. Run it underwater, squeeze it out, and then use it on your face and stipple this, these colors into your face and then take off any excess colors, okay? So anyway, I had all this makeup everywhere. Um, the sad thing about all these other companies is most of them, not all of them, but most of them don't have an exchange policy. So when you get matched to the wrong color and your orange or your yellow or whatever other color, um, I was struggling with orange and yellow, they won't take it back. Um, they just want you to get another color, right? So mascara has a 100% money back guarantee. Um, you can exchange your products if they don't work for you uh, color wise and if they're not right, well, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what it is. And I loved that. So I continued to watch and I thought, hmm, okay, well, to be nice, I'll place an order. So I um, placed an order for like a 10 or two and I got it and I put it on my face and I was like, holy buckets, I cannot believe how fabulous this goes on. And it's so even and I don't have any lines and it's just, I have a flawless look, right? So I went back once I got those tins and I placed another order. I kind of screwed myself out of getting the free compact by ordering that way, which sucks. But anyway, so then I was like so excited and people were asking me because, you know, obviously I looked better. I didn't have makeup on top of my face. I had makeup on my face. It looked natural. I looked healthy. You know, my face started to clear up. I wasn't oily anymore. And I thought, why am I doing this exactly? I mean, when's the last time you went into a beauty store and bought this awesome eye color and someone's like, hey, I love your eye color. Where'd you get it? And you say XYZ store. And then that person goes to XYZ store and they send you a check for sending them there. I'll wait for your answers. Seriously, though, I'm like, why am I not doing this for myself? Why am I not telling women about this so they can stop throwing their cash in the trash on products that don't work? Sign me up, right? I didn't really necessarily do it for the discount, although that's nice. I didn't do it for the money, although that's nice, too. I did it because women need to know there's something better out there. And jackpot, if you're watching this video, you're absolutely hands down 110% in the right spot. So, um... That's how I came to mascara. I am going to go back to my 30 second hack and is that a lie? Yeah, that's a lie. My bad. I'm going to go back to my 30 second hack and I am going to put on my cheek color. I'm in love with so many of these colors. Lately, I have been completely addicted to Hollywood and Lolly. I love Hopelessly Devoted too. Um, but for today's intents and purposes, we are going to do Hollywood. And I'm just gonna come right along my cheek here. Obviously, where, well, I was gonna say, where else would you put cheek color? But with mascara, <laughs> they're very smart people. Our lip color, or our cheek color also duels as a lip color also. So that's awesome. Money saving, space saving, time saving. It just, I, I don't know. There, I just can't say enough about this company and these products. It's just, they've blown me completely away. If I can share this with as many women as I can so that they can save money too. I mean, I do a lot of giveaways because like I said, yeah, the money is nice. But for me, it's not about trying to make 500 or a thousand or more dollars a month or whatever. For me, it's about teaching women, helping women, saving money, saving space, saving time, all of that. So <clears throat> that's my goal with this company. Anyway, so I just put that cheek color on. And um, I am going to put Lolly, I think, today on my lips because I just, I'm in love with it. I always use that finger to do that and I watch these videos later and I'm like, oh, I'm flipping off my audience. I don't mean to, I'm not like that. How's it look? Okay, fantastic. All right, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of our pearl illuminator and I'm just gonna bring it kind of along my brow bone here just to brighten this up just a little bit and there I go with that finger again. I don't know why I do that. 
I think it's a more gentle touch, kind of like you should use your pinkies and stuff to do things on your face because it's more gentle. You're not tugging and pulling on your face, but whatever. And then uh, I am going to show you with our, hmm, we'll go back to a 30 second hack, why not? I am going to add this glow eliminator, ladies. This is the cat's meow. And I don't mean the cat that's trying to get in the bedroom right now either, but <coughs> I'm going to just touch this everywhere that I would normally be hit directly by the sun. And it really just adds such a nice warmth to my face. I just absolutely love it. I cannot get over how amazing this product is, how smoothly it goes on and the warmth and the color that it adds to my face without seeming like it's not a natural color. And that's the other thing I love about these products is they just seem so natural when they're on your face. You can glam it up and do, you know, some wild and crazy things if you want to, um, or not so wild and crazy and just glam. You go into a ball or a, you know, something fancy or whatever. And then I'm gonna finish everything off with my Cayman powder. It's also kind of a bronzing, sun-kissed type of a look, um, much like our vanilla dust, but it just adds a little bit more warmth. And I like that. I don't get in the sun. I wished I never had, to be truthful with y'all, because sun damage. All right. I thank God for this makeup. I thank God for my husband. I thank God for his sister-in-law having this party. I thank God for um, Malia. Um, she's kind of become one of my best friends that I've never met uh, for mentoring me. All the ladies in our, our group who answer my questions daily about things because I just want to do the best for y'all. Um, I want you to have the right colors. I want you to have the best products. I want you to have this knowledge and I just want to help you. So that could actually completes my entire look. I'm sorry, my hair is such a wreck. I will tell you, uh, last night I cut the grass probably about 6.30, 7 o'clock and it was probably close to 100 degrees outside with humidity and I had my makeup on. I just pulled my hair up. I did a video for our, our team. Um, and my makeup, even after being outside, like drenched, just absolutely and completely drenched, was spot on. It was still like I had just put it on in the morning. So when you get sweaty, um, and I didn't even have to do this because my face has just completely evened out between our milk um, cleanser toner and um, moisturizer and this makeup, these creams. I don't get oily anymore. I don't get dry anymore. I don't get acne anymore or any kind of zits really. Um, but if you do get sweaty, all you have to do is take a paper towel or napkin and just kind of blot your face and boom, done. You're right back to like you just started in the morning. It's just, I don't know. I could go on and on. I'm going to try and cut this video off. I've already kept you here for 18 minutes, which is about eight minutes longer than I wanted to keep you. And I, I apologize real quick. Um, I'm going to wash this back off and go to bed. I just wanted to do this for y'all because I'm just super excited. But um, I want to talk about our stay spray. Put this on before you put your makeup on. Helps to set it in place a little bit better too. You can put it on after you put your makeup on. It smells absolutely amazing. And if you apply your makeup every day, you want to clean your brushes at least every other day. Um, if you put your makeup on a couple times a week, you know, just kind of every other application kind of thing. It literally, you spray it on your brush, wipe your brush on a towel, and boom, it's dry. It's ready to go. And that's another reason that you can get away with one or two brushes for all of your applications because if you just want to dip this in a cheek color and then you want to go back and add some highlight color or whatever because you realize you missed something, spray it off, wipe it off, bam, reuse it. So uh, Houdini brush cleaner, stay spray. Got to have them. Got to have the perfecter sponge. Four tins, compact. Eight tins, hack stack. So um, ladies, reach out to me if you have any questions, if you need anything. Uh, want another video, whatever, I don't care. But uh, I appreciate you giving me your time tonight and uh, hopefully I can help you soon and color match you and get you well on to feeling great about the way you look when you leave the house.